Hi, how are you? I hope you are having a great day. Lightning McQueen and me are back to give you a ton more money saving tips. Not all of these tips are gonna work for everyone, but you may find five or 10 that work for you. I hope they do. Uh, so let's just go. But first, if you're new around here, hello, my name is Lydia Sen. I am passionate about frugal and simple living. We paid off $36,000 of debt in two years on one income. And I like to share with you tips and tricks on how to not only save money, but to save time. So if you're interested in that, click that subscribe button and join our community. Okay, so my first one is to limit the amount of pre-packaged foods you are buying. Okay, if you're busy and buying a rotisserie chicken and a bagged salad and pre-cut fruit saves you from spending $40 at Chick-fil-A, do it and don't feel shame about it because I'm not about shaming you for your money choices. I'm about empowering you so that you can have choices. But you will pay significantly more on a pre-cut bag of apples with Mickey Mouse's picture on the front of them than you will those whole apples around the corner. And then I just take a couple minutes. It takes me about 15 minutes a week to pre-cut and prep a lot of things. So I go ahead and cut strawberries. I take the grapes off the vine. I make sure things are washed and prepped and put in our fridge so that we can just grab them and use them. But this saves me a lot of money. Also, there are lots of things that you can do to make your produce last longer. Like making sure you're storing bananas away from other fruits because apples will actually make bananas ripen faster. Putting a paper towel in your lettuce or salad greens. I know I told you in my last video that paper towels were gross, but if you use them, why not use them to save you some money? Stick a paper towel in there. It'll actually make your greens last longer. Just little things that you can do to make that produce as fresh as long as possible. Batch your errands so that you're not running all over town. So I have one day a week where I really run the bulk of my errands because I'm in town. I live 30 minutes away from everything, but I'm in the area where the people and the things are. And so I try to take care of most of my business on that day. And then the rest of my week is glorious and stress-free. Ask your power company if they have rebates for purchasing energy efficient appliances. So this works for us when we bought our new fridge and our new air conditioner. We got a little bit of a rebate back from our power company. So see if this will work for you. So this was one that worked back when things were open and hopefully it will work again soon. But sign up for your parks and recreation newsletter and know about awesome free events that are going on in your community. Also, I hate Facebook and I left it. Like I totally deactivated my Facebook account but you can find a lot of community groups on there that will share things that are going on. And through a friend, so through a friend who is still on Facebook, I learned about a free soccer camp that my kids are enjoying right now. It's been fantastic and I only had to buy new soccer balls. So this one is actually a big one for me and that is don't feel bad for saying no to your friends who are selling crap you don't need. I did a whole video on how to say no to people when they're trying to sell you something without feeling guilty, but you don't need to spend your hard earned dollars on things that you don't want. See how many staples you are comfortable making. So when my kids were little, my kids are still little, <laughs> but when my older two kids were little, they were born 18 months apart. I made my own yogurt. It was really easy. I made it in the crock pot. And it saved me a ton of money because they ate a lot of yogurt. They don't do that anymore, but I have figured out how to make a ton of staples that we do use every day for ourselves. I feel like so many convenience items, as awesome as they are, have convinced us that we don't know how to cook and that we don't know how to make basic staples. And there are a few things that you can make at home that are delicious that just take a few whole ingredients and take very little time. I ran out of taco seasoning a few weeks ago and then I realized that I had all the stuff in my cabinet to make my own and so it saved me time from having to go to the grocery store. It saved me money because I didn't have to buy the spices and I used up stuff that I already had. Things like oatmeal cups, chicken stock, jelly, like whatever it is that your family uses a lot of. See if you can make it at home. But also remember your time is worth something. 
So if you're spending hours and hours a week doing these things and it just becomes a chore, it's fine to go back to buying them at the grocery store. The budget police aren't going to come and arrest you. Uh, switch to foaming hand soap containers. We use them. I just buy a big thing of Dr. Bronner's for $13. It lasts like a year. You put this much in your soap container and then fill the rest of it with water and you're good to go from there. Uh, you can also do this with shower gel. I don't do it for my shower gel, but for my kids, I put it in the foaming soap because kids are so wasteful. Also, here's a little trick though if you don't want to do that. If your kids have the pump shampoo slash body wash, get yourself a hair tie, tie it around the top, and then they can only do a little pump. And so your three-year-old's not standing in the shower over and over watching his hand fill up with soap. Okay, so another thing that I do that I talk about all the time is I use a spraying dish soap. So I just took a spray bottle, I put about this much dish soap in it, so a quarter of soap, and then three quarters of water, shake it up, and I spray my dishes that way. It makes a fantastic granite cleaner. It will clean, it makes a fantastic granite cleaner. So if you have granite countertops, you spray, wipe, buff, you're good to go. Also, I reuse the black bag sometimes, which is my next tip. And so I'll spray them out, rinse them out, hang them upside down to dry. And then I, you know, I reuse them if it wasn't gross stuff. So if it was just like a few muffins that I threw in there or the vegetable scraps that I keep in my freezer to make stock, or maybe I had sensory bins, that kind of thing. So, you know, use good judgment. Also, I replaced a lot of my throwaway bags with reusable snack bags, and then of course Pyrex containers, which I've already talked about. You can use them over and over again. You can make stuff and freeze them. And so I'll take stuff, so I'll cook it, put our leftovers in the Pyrex dish, freeze it, take it out weeks later, dump it in the crock pot, the warm function, and that way we're not eating leftovers over and over and over again, and I'm able to warm them up later. I think that might have been another tip. We're going to make it count. Okay, so this isn't going to work for everyone, but seeing if auto pay will save you money. I know that with a couple of our bills, we get a discount for paperless billing and auto pay. But if you're one of those people that it's just out of sight, out of mind, and you don't account for it, please don't do this because it's not worth the potential overdraft fees just for you to save a couple of dollars. Do some room darkening curtains. Not only do they help little ones sleep better, but they also keep your rooms cooler in the summer by not letting in extra heat through the windows. Do not pay for phone insurance. It is a ripoff and a scam. Don't do it. Let me tell you why. Okay, so say you pay $10 a month for phone insurance and in 10 months, your phone breaks. You have paid $100 for phone insurance. Then you have to pay a deductible like a $25 deductible. So you have paid $125 towards a new phone in the name of insurance. I get my phones refurbished. They're usually around $99. Just go to eBay, Facebook Marketplace, like do some research so you don't get ripped off. But I've been buying refurbished iPhones for years. This one's scratched on the back because I did it. Do you own an Instant Pot or a slow cooker? Commit to using it at least twice a week. Don't go out and buy one unless you know absolutely for certain you're going to use it and love it. Borrow it from a friend for borrow one from a friend first and see how you like it. But I use mine two to three times a week and it's like basically having someone else cook our meals for us because I just dump everything in there. And so I'm more motivated because I know I'm not going to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Create a water bottle with a straw or just a water bottle that you can refill. This for me, if I have a drink with me, if I'm out running errands, I'm less tempted to stop and get one because, oh, I have one. And drinks are my downfall. Like I want to buy a coffee. I want to buy a Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to get something to drink. And then I spend a bunch of money on drinks that I'll finish. So having a drink with me has just helped. And then having components of quick meals that you can throw together on nights when you're exhausted and you don't want to cook, it will save you from buying food that you didn't intend to buy. I like going out and getting takeout. We plan it into our budget, but I don't want to buy takeout that I didn't intend to 
and then not enjoy it. Like I want it to be something that I anticipate. Maybe it's something, a restaurant that's a little bit more expensive and it's not just drive through. It's a meal that I've thought about that I know is coming up on Friday and I'm excited. Um, but I don't want to waste my eating out money on food I didn't want or eat into my grocery budget or spend money from another category because I didn't plan. So I keep a few things on hand that I can throw together really quickly. Always recommend like a can of coconut milk, some curry powder, some crushed tomatoes, and then you have like a base for making curry. Or maybe it's just some rice and beans and vegetable stock and taco seasoning, and you can make a quick little taco casserole. But just having a few staples, but just having a few staples on hand will keep you out of the drive through and not feel so bad about spending on things that you didn't intend to. Okay, I hope these tips help. I would love it if you would subscribe, leave me a comment below, and tell me, do you do any of these things? Add to the list. Let's encourage each other and help each other out, and I'll see you in my next video.